Well, third round action getting underway. What a blockbuster encounter we've got here. 25. You'd have to say two of the most improved players in 2022. It was a breakthrough year for Luke Humphreys, winning four Euro Tours, getting himself up to world number five. He's since dropped back down to world number six. And what about this man on your screen, Ross Smith, the European champion, beating Michael oh, Smith. Right. And um, both players make giant strides in their blossoming careers last That's year. Right. And Ross the ball. Very consistent. Luke Humphreys hasn't managed to tick that box of a major TV title yet. This man has. But you feel it's only a matter of time for Luke Humphreys, but first of all, one of these players has got to navigate their way through to the nice last step. 16. Luke Humphreys come through tricky ties with Justicia and Andy Bolton, whereas Ross Smith came through his Martin Clearmacker and Jim Williams to set up what is... You'd have to say, Rod, we're scanning through the draw, the standout tie this round. Well, yeah, I mean, these are two players both ranked in the top 20 in the world, as you've mentioned, Mark, with Humphreys sixth and Ross Smith now 18th. But two players Amazing. that you would say are a threat in any tournament, be it on the Pro Tour here in Barnsley or be it on a big stage in a TV tournament. They're always going to be in and amongst the front runners and contenders for titles, but only one of them will reach the last 16 here today in pursuit of the 12 grand first prize and the ranking 96. points from this event pro tour five and looking ahead as one of them will be after this match the winner will play vandenberg or de souza well you talk about standout ties like this one i mean vandenberg and de souza is not a bad match either is it no it doesn't get any easier which is Generally, naturally, how it happens in these tournaments, the further you go on, the ties get trickier. Humphreys. Ah, I can't quite find a 54. It sets it up really well, and it's a good opening leg from the pair of them here. But it's Ross Smith who gets first look. Oh. Now then, he's probably got a look at 15. That's unlucky. Bullseye. Ah, brilliant shot from Ross Smith. And what was key there, there was no sort of stepping back. He just switched his attention to the 15 segment, finished on the ball. We've seen some great ball hitting on this stream already today, particularly from Dimitri Vandenberg. Ross Smith pins the ball there to find the opening leg in 15 darts. Yeah, that was great, wasn't it? Off the back of the bounce out, which threatened to derail the whole bid to check out 65, but he got it done in a more unorthodox manner, and he had to after suffering that misfortune with the bounce out. So now, Ross Smith with the lead early on. Very lean looking Ross Smith. It's, he's still, he puts on his social media, he's still very much, he takes his running gear 60. when he's away. He reckons it sort of clears his head a little bit after in preparation for a long day or if he's had a bad day. and. How the sport of darts has changed, Mark. Did you go running back in your world championship time? I used to go running out the venue after I'd been beat. Mm. But um, no, it's <laughs> <laughs> it's each their own. Is it Luke Humphreys is very much as well and kept himself in good shape. And, uh, you used to get your diet right as well, Mark, didn't you? All the nutrients, the <laughs> cardiovascular activity, of course. You know, that's how you maintained 59. your world championship form. But... You know, the, the sport has completely changed, hasn't it? I mean, for a darts player to be thinking about the things that Ross is alluding to there, it, it would have been unheard of. And, and, and he's not alone in that now by any manner 45. of means, is he? No, he's not. You know, players taking it more seriously. Right, they should. The PDC, the incentives on offer, massive prize money, career-changing prize money. Yeah. And that can have, you know, a knock-on effect into your... 125. Your personal lives. If you're in the best shape, you want to be the best prepared you can to win these events. And these two, are, two take it very seriously. And you've only got to look at their years last year. I mentioned it quickly at the, the intro. Breakthrough years for the pair of them. Game um, shot. Luke Humphreys levels up at one as P, so comfortable holds a throw. You for talked both about players. Ross running and, and getting fit. I mean, Luke Humphreys, I mean, you can only admire the way he's changed his lifestyle too over the last few years. I mean, 96. He's shed a lot of weight. He, he looks in tremendous nick himself as well, doesn't he? Does, great yeah. to see. Great adverts of the game, the pair of them. I agree. Not just the way they play, the way they conduct themselves, the way they speak in interviews as well. And, um, you know, obviously very vocal that they just marginally missed out for the Premier League. But it was it was said, you know, the doors never shut. And their players that you feel at some point will feature in that lineup. 96. 
as long as they keep playing the way they have done, keep winning events, they'll be there or thereabouts. Humphrey's already made a Euro Tour final Easy. this year, the first one of the year in, which is a couple of weeks ago, he lost out to Dave Chisnell. Good from Smith. 171. Such a, a focus in the action, isn't there? This is a lot more pacey than Luke Humphreys won. 58. Ross Smith is just very strategic, very just stares down the target. Yeah, I'll yeah. tell you another thing that's coming to fashion in darts, everywhere else for that matter, Mark, is, is the beard. And here's two an example here, whereas I mean, you just appear to have forgotten your razor today. 32. It's not quite as sculpted, Mark, your facial adornment. But uh, I see what you're trying to do. I'd love to try it, name. We've got a few players, by the way, confirmed into the last 16. Uh, Aspinall through, beat Nenches. Jeffrey De Swan came through a last leg decider with Clayton. Ross Smith, just forget the results a second. 46. Anderson's on the charge, he's through to the last 16, as is Keegan Brown, Chris Landman in the last 16. And Humphreys can't find tops, tops. And the reaction said it all. 60. It's a reaction his opponent couldn't see, though, and so Ross Smith would have gained nothing from his opponent's disappointment. He wants double five, Ross Smith. Game shot. Lovely dart, and he regains the lead. It could come down to some sort of opportunity like that the one Luke Humphreys offered there. A little tops, tops pop or a ten plus finish to get that break. Luke Humphreys, remember, will have to break at some point if he's going to be through to the next round. 50 cent. Price through, by the way, 6-4 over Josh Rock. Kevin Doot's on a run as well. He's beaten Cameron Menzies 6-5. Not the best of performances there, but he just grinded 85. it out, Kevin Doot's. Yeah, he's shaping up for a interesting conclusion to this championship this game being played in the last 32 mark's already 60. pointed out a few of the players through to the last 16 already and we could have some very exciting looking mouth-watering quarterfinals and beyond with just got to mention this one as well radek Siganski and christopher tyski the old polish fair they're five legs apiece for that Sagansky's averaging 102, Ratajski's averaging 106, and we talked about the influx of Belgian players. We're getting there slowly with Polish players, aren't Who's we? Who's in pole position in the last well, leg? At the minute, Ratajski is a pretty much level. But then we've right. got other players from there. We've got Sebastian Biewetski, oh, Christoph yeah. Chuk as well. The game's getting healthier and healthier in Poland as well. But uh, what? A, so one of the poles will vault into the next round shortly, and Mark will tell you who it is. Well, I think of some more puns. No, it's, well, Saganski's got a chance here. But we'll keep an eye on that whilst we're keeping an eye on this game. Well, here, Ross Smith has got well, a chance, hasn't he, to, to break the Luke Humphreys throw in the fourth leg. Although Humphreys is on a two darter, Smith can leave himself something very manageable of his own. But he will need trebles, a treble to leave 86 from there. The target is obscured. 60. And he almost found the top left-hand corner, but not quite. Elected to stay there, though, for Soli, because if he leaves the 1 2 6, you're, staying, you're starting on the same part of the board, aren't you? He's going to get a go at 1 2 6. 58. What was that? Maybe a little bit of noise from the arena there, just Ross Smith settling himself. Another one, maybe. Oh. And that is frustrating because his eyes lit up there. He's thinking minimum he's getting a 19, the shot of the ball. But it, not greed, he just thinks that the, the open bed, he's just got an unlucky deflection. But Humphreys for two apiece. Double 10 is the target. Can't find it. 30. Well, Ross Smith, now, it doesn't happen very often that they hit a treble and then miss the big number on the same target, but you do notice it when they do. And now double 16 and Ross yeah, is now the boss in this match because he's 3-1 up with that break of throw Humphrey's missing a couple of chances to level up Ross shake his head he can't believe his luck 19 oh, 
20 darts, the break throw there. Well, don't shake your head, Ross. There's no need. You're no. three one up, man. If anything, those legs you win are, are a little bit sweeter because you know your opponent will be frustrated and 60. They hurt that that little bit more when you lose a leg under those circumstances. When you surrender your throw without you know making your opponent earn it. 140. Well, Humphreys did beat Smith in the Grand Slam last year. Last 16 match, I think I recall. 10-8 yeah, really to Luke Humphreys. A good tie, wasn't it? Humphreys losing, losing that in the semis in the end. He did beat Michael Van Gogh in the round he after. He did, yeah. Luke Humphreys and just fell short and had a couple of semi-final appearances, but hasn't quite managed to 58. get that major TV title. And multiple quarter-final appearances at the World Championship too, Mark, as well, showing his pedigree. And one of these days, you feel he, he could make a breakthrough to reach maybe the final Alexandra well, Palace. It would come as no surprise, would it? But he's got some work to do to keep his hopes alive here. I mentioned the winner would face Jose de Souza or Dimitri Vandenberg. Jose de Souza, 4-1 up in that match. Hang on, 1-2-1 one, one, one here for Ross Smith. 93. Great effort, but unless... The biggest shot of the lot goes here for Humphreys. Ross will return. He's going to. 140. So back to double 14 for Ross Smith to extend his lead further to a three-leg advantage. Double seven. Awkward. Yeah. 14. No play likes double seven. And the way Ross's first start kicked up, there didn't seem a lot to look at. Humphreys, though, has been missing. And he's missing again here, edging closer, and he's missed more chances cool. and in the body language. And this was a massive trait of Humphreys' game in the early days, and it's not as frequent now, but it does creep in. His body language can give a lot away. Game shot. And Ross Smith punishes Humphreys yet again. 4-1 for Ross. And he's still not happy, but 99. Ross, you're 4-1 up against the number one seed. Well, he'll be a lot less unhappy than Luke Humphreys, won't he? That's for sure, no matter how unhappy Smith feels. I'd rather be a bit fed up 4-1 up than going six. through turmoil at 4-1 down. <clears throat> and Humphreys is going to have to find a few extra gears here. You feel. 58. Cam Ross Smith. Get himself a double break. And he could blitz through this game in no time. He's averaging. 80. Shy of 90. I've just gone over 90 with that 180. It's not the spectacular game we thought it was going to be. 140. Look, I mean, let's have it right. You'd rather be 4 1 up than 4 1 down. But let's also point out we saw a match only a matter of minutes ago when Richard Veenstra was 5 1 down. Was he not marked to Dimitri Vandenberg? Got back to 5 all and got match darts. Yeah, so. so all is not lost. Of course it's not. I mean, and especially any one of these players is capable of running four. three, four, five legs straight, aren't they? Yeah, these players can hit real purple patches. Humphreys has proved it time and time again. Well, that's why he's seeded one. The consistency's there. His number one seed is based on the rolling one-year table on the Pro Tour and the Euro Tour. That's why he comes in seeded one. The consistency's generally there. This to start the comeback, and that's more like it from Luke Humphreys. Turn plus finish, 4-2, hold a throw. And kind of acknowledging that's more like it. Could be two. It's a good day for Danny Van Tripe. He's 5-4 up against Callum Rids. For potentially a place in the last 16 for the first time. 140. Well, this year. It's a better first start from Humphrey. Doesn't follow. Does with the last one. Making a big inroad on the Ross Smith throw here. Oh, the Ross Smith throw is very easy on the eye, Indeed. and it's very accurate as well. You know, there's always a little bit of a sideshow with trying to become the biggest maximum hitter on the PDC Tour. We've seen Van Dijvenbode claiming that title, if it is a title, over the uh, recent times. Joseph de Souza, Michael Smith. 
you know, and at the moment, Ross Smith is bursting into nice, that Sam. list of great 180 hitters, isn't he? Yeah, he broke the record in a best of nine leg match at the Grand Slam. He's Michael Van Geuren, didn't he? In which 96. ended up getting him out of the group and setting up a last 16 time with Luke Humphreys, which he eventually lost. But the 180 hitting from Ross Smith has gone to an extra level the last year or so. Big shot incoming. Ah, just over pitched. Humphreys to get back on throw. Game he shot. does get back on throw. And this is, is this that little spurt we said that Luke Humphreys is more than capable of and we've seen time and time again over the past 12 months? 60. The current leader of the 96. best 180 hitter in the PDC is Van Dijvenbode in terms of 180s per leg. 39 for every 100 thrown. Smith is fourth with 35. That's Ross Smith. Michael Smith is second. So he's right up in the elite group there. Humphreys is ninth. So these are two big maximum hitters. 58. De Souza edging closer to awaiting the winner of this tie. 5-3 now against Dimitri Vandenberg. This is a real good spell of play for Luke Humphreys. Smith finds a turn, but Humphreys, plenty of time here. Let's bring this 1-6-1 one, one down. 48 maybe, ah, really sensible play. The treble 20 path was blocked and the 57 to the 48. Not a big adjustment. And Humphreys from 4-1 down, looking very disconsolate. He's very hard on himself. In the blink of an eye, could level up the match here. Well, 18 is the target. Double nine is the target. Yes. Well, at one all, Ross Smith won three consecutive legs to lead 4-1. And now Luke Humphreys has won three consecutive legs to level at four each. Now, here's a conundrum for you, Mark. Ross Smith at four all has the darts in the ninth leg and the 11th leg but Luke Humphreys has won the last three legs so he has the momentum who's the favorite it's a tough one throwing first the momentum is one of the toughest ones to call is it yeah you had to argue. we had this debate once with Joe Cullen didn't we <laughs> Ross... he insisted that momentum was more important than 55. the throw oh no I won't go that far Ross Smith as well has opened up with a two treble visit but he's done it without finding a treble there and he's literally a best of three game now I started talking about um, the Radek Sigansky game earlier. He finished the job against Christopher Tysky. We mentioned with seeded players, forward and left, right and centre, opportunities arise. And, well, a last 16 tie of Chris Landman versus Radek Sigansky. Well, that, that is a massive opportunity for someone there. Mark Webster there with his opinion on the poll. Can it? 134. That's the last one, I think, in the locker. Anyway, Ross Smith, very close here. Just two points in it. Smith with the darts, though. Two good turns here from either player will lead to a 5-4 lead in a race to six. That's not a good turn. <laughs> so now, advantage Luke Humphreys. Yeah, and the average is in favour of uh, Luke Humphreys. Being the better player, there we are. About six, just over six points. 59. Won't be happy with that, is it? He's thinking minimum turn. He's, he's The way he's been playing this all the last couple of legs, he's expecting just to lay up a double there. Bullseye for the one, two, three. Well, he started the match with a ball. It was an improvised ball, really, because he had to go there after that, bounced out. And gets to split Six 25 to stop the rot here, Ross Smith. So, to regain the lead. Double eight and two darts at it. Oh, yes. Well, kudos there to Ross Smith. Been a welcome relief for Ross Smith as well. well that lost, it is. Yeah, three dart, three legs in succession, 80. and you've offered very little resistance during those three legs to move himself back in front. Drama in the tie that matches up with this one in the draw. Vandenberg and De Souza are at a last leg decider. Luke Humphreys looked there like he'd been insulted by the dart board and wanted to start a fight with it, but these bounce outs do happen. 
140. But, you know, they, they happen pretty, pretty equally, don't they? But it's just when it happens that makes you feel, you know, absolutely pig sick. And he'll feel there that it happened, uh, couldn't have happened at a worse time, right at the start of a leg he's got to win. Well, well, well Smith in the opening leg had a... He did. But he just got on with it, didn't he? Just, there was no sort of stepping back or head shaking. He just converted the 15 for the ball on the 65. Humphreys edges back in front. We've had stacks of last leg deciders. Only two matches on the stream haven't gone to a last leg decider. That was Jose de Souza defeating Steve Lennon and our first match of the day when Damon Hetter beat Tricol. Mm -hmm. Sixty-three. So this now is for the match for Ross Smith. It would be a twelve dart leg. Oh, that's the wrong side of the wire. Takes him out of range. He needs and to set this up because 78 is awkward, Rod, isn't it? It's, it's well, it's likely one, it? one dart double. It could be two, but likely one, I would say. It will be two. And only one left now at double six. Oh, and Luke Humphries just wired it on the six. outside. And the head went down because he knows he's now just two darts away from defeat. And Ross Smith has battled in this match with same, same route. But more clinical from Ross Smith, and he weathered a bit of a storm there. Luke Humphreys, who rallied back from 4-1 to level up at four apiece. But Ross Smith had the answers. He's into the last 16. A convincing display in the end. A bit of a mid-match wobble, but there we see 5-180s from Ross Smith.